there are more than 2.2 billion cups of coffee which is drank every day. Today I have with me a marketing and sales expert Maz and he had been selling coffee, DXM coffee to the people. So my question to you is how do you go about uh, talking to the people who drink coffee? Okay, so I'm going to role play with you. I'm going to assume that you're a potential customer mm -hmm. and I'm going to approach you. I'm going to try to tell you about the coffee and then I'm going to show you how you can use the coffee and how it's beneficial to you. Okay. okay? Mm -hmm. So first thing you do, I'm going to role play now. I'm going to come up to you like, hi there, how are you doing? Good, great. Okay, so I was told that you wanted to talk a little bit about coffee. Do you drink coffee right yes, now? Okay, what, what type of coffee do you drink? Is it more... Uh, Instant coffee or do you buy it at store? Which type of coffee do you drink? I, in the house it's instant coffee and of course okay. if I'm in the mall then I go for Starbucks. Okay, are you aware of what is inside that coffee that you're drinking? I just know it's coffee. Mm, that's it, I don't know what's inside. Okay, so I'll tell you a few things about coffee that you should be aware of. The first thing is that coffee plants are extremely, the smell of them, the aroma of them is very strong. Mm -hmm. So, with that being said, there's tons of pesticide and insecticide that's sprayed on coffee beans and plants every single day. So now if the coffee is not natural, if the coffee is not organic, all that chemical goes into the plant. Mm -hmm. From that plant, it goes into the coffee. Mm -hmm. From that coffee, then it goes into the cup, and from the cup, it goes into yeah. you. So mm -hmm. now if you're drinking this coffee, which has gallons and gallons of pesticide sprayed on it, and it goes inside your body, do you think that causes any harm? Sure. Toxin. Toxin creates problems. There's toxins, uh, cancer issues, imbalance. There's a lot of challenges that come with uh, drinking. But I'll give you a simple example. If I spray uh, pesticide, insecticide, or a bug killer into this cup and give it to you to drink it, would you drink it? No way. But then I'm going to put cream and sugar, stir it up, put a logo on side and say, here you go, and I'll pay me $4 for it. How does that make sense then? It doesn't make sense at But all. then people do it every single day. You do it, you said, two, three times a day. Yeah. Second thing you need to understand is there are certain levels of caffeine that your body can tolerate, right? Um, if you go outside and you drink the coffee, which is not natural, mm -hmm. which has preservatives added inside, do you know what percentage is of caffeine is input into the coffee? I understand it's something like what 10 to 15 percent. This is what my knowledge is. It's roughly yeah, 15, 16 percent. Mm -hmm. Do you know what's the daily limit your body should not exceed every single day? No. Two percent. All right. So now if you're drinking 16, 18, eight times more than your daily limit, what is that going to do for you? What is that going to do to your body? Of course, I mean, once you're drinking coffee with that much of caffeine, it's going to get my blood pressure up or I will not be able to uh, sleep well with high caffeine. So there's osteoporosis, dehydration, your calcium is leaked out of your body. So there's a lot of issues that come. So a lot of people, they can't even drink caf uh, coffee or caffeine anymore. So mm -hmm. they drink decaf because their heart starts palpitating too much. Uh, so there's a lot of issues that come with it. Apart from that, most of the coffee that you're drinking outside is not natural. So they put vitamin K and cortisol and a lot of these elements inside to make the coffee last longer, mm -hmm. to keep it in the shelf for longer. Were you aware that vitamin K and cortisol is directly related to heart problems, heart diseases, and heart attacks. No. And that's one of the key ingredients in coffee to make the life of that box last longer on the shelf. Okay. So now you have all these issues that you put inside the cup and you drink it every single day. Mm -hmm. Imagine the long-term effect of this. You'll mm -hmm. notice the cancer statistics have gone up through the roof. Uh, there's all these issues that are coming in because we're drinking this four, five, six times a day. Every single day in the morning we wake up and drink it. Mm -hmm. We drink it all through through the day and we drink it during the evening just so we can stay up a little bit later. Yeah. So now an alternative we have is uh, DXN. So now what's the difference between DXN coffee and the regular coffee that you buy outside? Caffeine wise, it has less than 1% caffeine inside. That's good. So you can drink, you can drink a couple, of, it's 0.8%. So you can drink two, three cups and stay within the daily limit. Mm -hmm. So that's one thing. Mm -hmm. Second thing, it's natural and it's mm -hmm. got organic Ganoderma inside. So you get away from all the chemicals and the preservatives. There's, it's, 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 it's all there. So there's no, nothing added into it. All right. And what about the, the cream? So there's different types of them. Mm -hmm. So there's black coffee. Mm -hmm. Then there's two-in-one. It has uh, brown sugar, mm -hmm. uh, cane. It comes mm -hmm. from the cane. Mm -hmm. Then it has non-dairy mm -hmm. cream inside. So if mm -hmm. you're lactose intolerant, you mm -hmm. can drink that as well. Uh, it, it's it, it, there's teas, 
there's cappuccinos there's there's a variety of blends that you can use to okay. consume the daily thing now that's basically just the coffee itself mm -hmm. okay now how is that different from any organic or natural coffee outside in the store it has a key ingredient inside which is Ganoderma mm -hmm. um, Ganoderma has over 200 active elements inside um, there's, there's, a, there's a lot of them I'm not gonna go through all 200 of them but some of the main ones polysaccharides do you know what mm -hmm. those are for it's boost your immune system mm -hmm. then there's organic geranium so people might say well wait a minute it has only 0.8 percent caffeine how can that keep me awake organic geranium is as strong if not more uh, more powerful than caffeine uh, it's seven to eight times more stronger than ginseng so that's inside so it gives you a natural boost mm -hmm. so instead of artificial bo boost it increases your blood flow mm -hmm. so you're overall awake healthy naturally it has uh, adenosine inside, which helps with metabolism and weight loss. It has uh, polysaccharides, which I mentioned already, and it has a lot of key elements inside. There's 200 of them. I'm not going to go through, like I said, all of them, mm -hmm. vitamin A, calcium, all of these things are inside. Mm -hmm. So now, to simply explain the situation here, this coffee that you're drinking outside, uh, which has all the elements and all the chemicals and all the things that are bad for you, mm -hmm. how much are you paying for that? Almost you know, three to four dollars if it's uh, from the mall. So you got four dollars, mm -hmm. right? And the instant coffee, uh, if you're buying the, the jar, the jar costs roughly twenty dollars mm -hmm. and it can last you the entire month, mm -hmm. right? So you got twenty dollars there, plus you got three, four dollars that you're spending every single day. Mm -hmm. So if you take four dollars every day, if you actually calculate this out, times that by 30 days, you're mm -hmm. spending a hundred twenty dollars on coffee outside, plus your twenty dollars at home. So you're spending a hundred and forty dollars on what? on things that are destroying your health every single day. I'm, I'm addicted to it. That's what most of the people are. So th you're addicted to it because of the smell of the coffee. It wakes mm -hmm. you up and it's got the caffeine inside. So if you had a natural, healthier substitute to it, mm -hmm. which would not only help you, but increase your body's metabolism, your immune system, would that be a better option then? Sure. So now you got $120 monthly supply right there. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you have the DXN coffee. Mm -hmm. It's, I've told you all the benefits, it gets away from all the negative effects of it and it gives you all the positive effects uh, mm -hmm. and the benefits to it. Mm -hmm. So, would you drink this coffee over the other coffee? Definitely, I'll go for this. There's two things that people say that, uh, I'll think about it. The first one is the taste. Mm -hmm. They get used to the taste of their coffee. This has Arabica beans, uh, mm -hmm. which is the, the, the best beans that are used in Starbucks coffee, Tim Hortons coffee, uh, Folgers coffee. So it has Arabica beans inside. So the smell and the taste is exquisite. Mm -hmm. So you're not going to feel a big switch when you move over to that coffee. So it's th the taste is the same, if not better. Mm -hmm. The second thing that happens with a lot of natural health products is even though it's better, people don't switch over because it costs too much. Yeah. Right? You go to the store, organic things are better for you, true or false? Yeah, of course. You go to the and you, you pay more. You go to the store. Everyone knows organic things are better, mm -hmm. right? You go to the store. You have organic milk for ten dollars. You have natural milk for four dollars. Mm -hmm. Everyone knows this one's better, mm -hmm. but they still buy the four dollar milk. Why? Because I can't afford it. I can't. I know it's I know, affordability. Yeah, I, I know it's, it's healthier for me, but I can't afford it. Mm -hmm. So now let me ask you one thing. This thing is much better, much healthier. How much would you pay for this? You're spending 120, so you're spending roughly four or five dollars a cup. Mm -hmm. How much would you spend on a cup which is natural? It's got organic Ganoderma. It has all the elements. How much would you spend for a good natural organic coffee? Maybe double. Eight dollars. Mm -hmm. Then you put 200 active elements. You put Ganoderma inside. All the things I was talking about: the vitamins, the calcium, the mineral. So now not only it's coffee, but it's a healthy immune boosting coffee how much would you pay for that extra element then maybe another one or two dollars now we're at ten dollars would you buy this dxn cup of coffee for ten dollars no no of course not because you're buying it right now for three four dollars mm -hmm. what price would you buy this for what I'll, I'll go for the same price that i'm $4. spending every day about four dollars okay. three and a half dollars what price would you want to hear for you to be like wow that's it for that i'd buy ten of these at least half the price two dollars two dollars so the cost of our coffee is not four dollars or five dollars it comes down to 50 cents a cup okay 50 cents a cup so now think about this you're going to be saving over a hundred dollars but more importantly you're going to be saving your health and your life so the switch it's amazing because it's cheaper it's better 
it's healthier and you get the same taste and the same experience as coffee. Okay. Okay. So any other questions that you have? This okay. is, it comes in a box. It comes in a box. The box has 20 sachets. A sachet makes roughly two. So you can last this for 40, 40 cups. Okay. But it's convenient. It's in this packet right here. So if you're at work, you can just open it, put it in hot water, mm -hmm. stir it, and you're good to go. You can fold the rest, leave it for the uh, evening time, leave it for the night time. And it's very convenient. Okay. okay. Thank you very much. No problem. And so you see, uh, today what we have done is uh, we have role played it, and that's how Maz has been doing uh, the selling and marketing of coffee, the Asian coffee in Canada. So you can do the same thing. So in this uh, eight to 10 minutes that we have spoken, so you can imagine there are millions of coffee which has been drank all over the world. So we have a coffee, which is just not a coffee, is more than a coffee. So if you go and market DX and coffee to the people, ask them the right question. Ask them what they are drinking, as Mas just explained, and what we have in this. So with this role play that we have done, you can take out the points and go ahead and do the marketing of the coffee. See you in my next video. Thank you.